What's going on, my PT peeps and my Walking Dead family? Welcome to the PT channel. I'm One Eye Bry, back to talk about The Walking Dead Season 9, Episode 5. Obviously, spoilers, spoiler warning, major spoilers, big spoilers, super spoilers. If you want to know about the episode, keep watching. If you don't, stop watching now. Again, it's highly likely that these things will occur, but not 100% confirmed. But I'm very, very excited for this Sunday's episode of The Walking Dead. But first, if you love The Walking Dead and The Walking Dead family, please guys hit that subscribe button to become a valued member of our Walking Dead family here at the PT channel. Hit that subscribe button and you'll help us achieve our goal of 100,000 subscribers. You won't be disappointed. Photo credit and info credit to these fine folks right here, giving credit where credit is due. Season nine, episode five, what comes after? Rick is forced to face the past as he struggles to maintain the safety of the communities and protect the future he and Carl envisioned. That's a synopsis and the title for 905. And here's the great information from the Spoiling Dead fans. Heath's RV was spotted during filming on this episode. Will we see it or get a reference to Heath this episode? There's no mention of Heath. What happens with Maggie and Negan? It's straight from the recent comics. Michonne allows Maggie to enter Negan's cell and Maggie is prepared to kill him. Negan isn't surprised and says he can't believe she waited this long. He gets on his knees and tells her to kill him, which surprises Maggie. He finally starts begging her to kill him, and when she asks why, he says so he can be with his wife. Maggie finally decides leaving him alive and suffering is a better punishment. And here's the picture of the RV that was seen around this time filming. But there's no mention of Heath, so we're not going to get that. Heath is still the new Morales. We're still waiting and waiting and waiting for him to come around. Will he ever come around? I know a lot of people don't care, but that's a loose end, and we all know how we feel about loose ends. Maggie and Michonne talking, it gets a little heated. We saw that in the sneak peek clip on AMC's YouTube channel or AMC.com, and I'm glad Michonne lets Maggie go talk to Negan. But it's kind of interesting that Maggie and Negan are having the interaction now. That's a recent happening in the comics. This stuff is all over the place. The order of this season from the comics is jumping all over the place. Gregory's death, we're going to see Magna, we're going to see a bunch of things happen out of order from the comics, and that's pretty awesome. I do want more and more things to happen just for the show, which I think we're going to get this episode and this season, which is awesome. But Maggie and Negan interact just like this in the comic. Maggie does not kill Negan, and Negan is still alive. Which previous Walking Dead characters will we see? Shane, Herschel, and Sasha. Can you describe Rick's interactions with the characters from the past, at least one of them? The scene with Herschel is back at his farm. Rick apologizes for what happened to him, Beth, and Glenn, and also for what he put Maggie through. Rick then says he's looking for his family. Herschel says that Rick's family isn't here. Then he tells Rick to wake up. Rick says the same thing to the other characters, that he's looking for his family, but he's told they aren't there. We are meant to assume he means his Lori and Carl family, but we realize that he is referring to his Michonne, Judith, and the rest of the group family, and that's why Herschel said they weren't there. So that's pretty cool. It sounds like the telephone thing at the prison, Rick hallucinating and tripping out again, but I like that they're bringing back Shane, Herschel, and Sasha. I wish Carl and a couple other characters would be seen, but there's no confirmation of that. The one with Shane was back at the scene where Rick was shot in the pilot episode. Shane is just being a dick asking how his daughter's doing, etc. Shane then confesses that he's an asshole, but he had hope. Some of it rubbed off on Rick, if only to harden him. Then Shane starts yelling that Rick needs to do what needs to be done. Does the bridge hold? Yes, Rick finally remembers what Daryl told him and leads the herd back to the camp, which has been vacated with the hope the bridge would collapse, but it doesn't. So Shane and Rick's interaction is pretty interesting. The fact that Shane asks Rick about Judith is pretty crazy. I wonder what it means with Rick being called an asshole. To me, that's not a callback to Glenn. Glenn says, hey, dumbass. Hey, you in the tank. Cozy in there? He says, dumbass, not asshole. I think the connection with the asshole line when Rick's in the bed is to Shane here. Shane and Rick, I like their dynamic here. I wish Shane lived on, but the fact that we get a Shane cameo hallucination, I'll definitely take it. The Herschel connection is bittersweet because of Scott Wilson's recent passing, but Scott Wilson got to see his part and it was very emotional and very great. Again, these are hallucinations. Herschel's not alive, Shane's not alive, Sasha's not alive. People are like, how is that possible? We saw Shane die, we saw Herschel die. Well, they're hallucinations of a future that isn't there, Rick could also be dying and going to the light, whether you believe in heaven or hell, but he could be going to talking to these spirits of Herschel, Sasha, and Shane. 
Scott Wilson just recently passed away and he was not at Walker Stalker Atlanta. I have a small little tribute video from some clips from Walker Stalker Atlanta. It has that thumbnail if you definitely want to check it out. It's pretty short, but very nice. I thought this information was great right here. Greg Nicotero has shared that Scott Wilson was able to view his final scene as Herschel Green in Rick's final episode before he passed away earlier this month. Greg stated that Scott had tears in his eyes from viewing the scene. So it should be heartbreaking. It should be a nice touching moment. And I'm excited to see what actually happens. As for the bridge, it looks to be pretty secure. It looks to be holding. It looks to be all right. I think the bridge would be fine to hold some weight. It holds all those walkers going through, but it's not going to last very long. I love this picture right here, which I believe was taken by Seth Gilliam, Father Gabriel on the show. It's a great shot, probably of this episode. You can see blue screen around it. The bridge is kind of destroyed again. And I think this is from this episode. How does Rick exit the show? When the bridge holds, Rick notices a case of dynamite on the bridge. By this time, Maggie, Michonne, Carol, and several others arrive to help, but Rick thinks they're a delusion since he had a hallucination about them earlier. Rick fires a gunshot at the case of dynamite and the bridge goes up in a fireball while everyone looks on in horror. How does the episode end? It ends with Jadis finding Rick near the bridge after the explosion and she takes him with her on the helicopter. So is Rick taken away without the group knowing? What happens? Are people going to be looking for Rick Grimes and wondering where he went? Or is the helicopter going to come and people get to say their final goodbye to Rick? And where is Jadis taking Rick? Is it the Commonwealth? Is it some part of DC? Is it Ohio? Is it London? We don't know. There's no way to tell. And it looks to be a cliffhanger. And everyone's going to wonder, where's Rick? Why is Rick gone? When's he coming back? When's he coming back? Where is he at? When's he coming back? Every episode. And that's going to be annoying to the writers, but they brought this on themselves. If Rick's going to be alive, that gives us hope they could come back. Rick isn't the only major character leaving after this week's Walking Dead. I believe it's Jadis and Rick both leaving. I don't think anybody else leaves, but it could happen. We're going to get some new characters as Rick and Jadis leave. It's going to be pretty interesting to see what happens with the storyline going forward this season and throughout the series. Do we learn about the helicopter people, what A and B mean? No, not really. Jadis tells the guy on the radio something along the lines of, I have a live one. She might have also called Rick and A. Anything else you want to share with us about it? Massive time jump at the very end. Magna and her crew are introduced and they are saved from a herd by a stranger. The stranger is revealed to be Judith Grimes, around 10 years old, toting a shotgun and wearing Carl's hat. Wow. I'm mostly excited about the Judith thing shotgun carl's hat she's young shane and carl mixed together there's magna that's not judith that's magna we're going to have magna luke kelly yumiko connie coming this episode pretty awesome stuff and if you saw the synopsis for next week's episode 906 not 905 there's a six year time jump massive time jumps this season luke yumiko connie kelly I'm excited for Magna's group to come around, which again starts at the beginning of a new beginning in the comic and not at this point. So we're getting some differences from the show to the comic. Some are hopefully good. Some hopefully keep the story going, but I'm excited to see what happens with these new characters. And the fact that we're getting an older Judith Grimes shows me that the character can be a character that is good for the show down the road. And I kind of love the idea that she could be a little Shane with the shotgun. That was Shane's weapon of choice in season two and Carl's hat. As for Rick, does someone take his gun? Does he take his gun with him? But to be honest, I don't want anyone else using this gun. That's Rick's gun. It should be put away and held for him when he comes back. As for him coming back, I hope he comes back at some point. Does he come back in season 10? Is it all a ruse and a lie that he's going to be a director? Because if he lives on, there's a great possibility that he comes back in season 10 or season 11, maybe a smaller role, maybe some part here or there that we don't know, but we're getting time jumps. So we had an 18 month time jump from season eight to season nine, just over a month time jump from episode 901 to 902, from 905 to 906, we're getting a six year time jump. That's crazy. So a year and a half went by and then a month went by and then six more years go by, crazy stuff. 
Now, a lot of people I know are excited that Rick's gonna live, and I'm excited too, but they're gonna drag that out so long. Potentially, of course. I would love to see a Rick Grimes movie between the six years of episode 905 to 906 to see what happened to him. Will we get that? Will we not? We'll have to wait and see what Gimple, Kang, and the rest of the writers are gonna do. But we can see keeping Rick Grimes is their plan to draw people back to the show and to keep people around. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you can, hit that subscribe button, become a valued member of the PT channel and our Walking Dead family if you haven't. There are my eight books right there. Fight for Us is the title. It's on Amazon and barnesandnoble.com. Remember guys, with hard work, dedication, belief, and sacrifice, you can truly achieve your goals. Believe in yourself, you can do it.